What's up everybody, Animagus back at it again with another Harry Potter Magic Awakened video and today I want to continue the companion series by talking about perhaps my favorite companion in the game right now, Ivy Warrington. Now I know that you might think like why? She doesn't do an awful lot of damage and her main thing triggers when she spawns. Well that is exactly why I love her. She doesn't have to do a bunch of damage because everybody and their mother right now has this card ron weasley because of the launch event a lot of people were able to get the ron weasley card which is incredibly destructive to summon decks if you see a ron drop on the field after you've summoned your monster book of monsters or one of your dragons after you've been waiting for the mp it is absolutely deflating to have this happen to you in the middle of a match knowing that you're about to take a bunch of damage your summons are probably going to die and then after that you're going to continue to have to deal with the tank that is ron weasley he's really good but you know who's better ivy warrington ivy will straight up erase him from the map and that is why she is my favorite she is the best counter to Ron as soon as he drops on the field. That's why I have her usually in this first or second slot in many of my decks because they are going to try and play Ron as fast as they can. Now, this is a strategy that people are going to use against summon decks to get an edge to put pressure on the opponent early in the game. As they're going to drop Ron early, like in their first slot or something like that, or second slot, middle of the game to try and get the edge on the opponent. And that's why I keep Ivy around here. Grop, I instantly throw out with this particular deck, of course. I instantly throw him out to get the game started. And that means that she's going to be ready pretty quickly. Now, if they use a Ron Weasley in the early, early game, like in the first minute or so of the match, then that's kind of a waste because it hasn't really developed and there aren't a lot of summons or characters on the board yet especially with Bellatrix, Death Eaters get on the board and it gets really hectic for them. But whenever somebody drops him in second or third, I usually save Ivy. As soon as he comes in, I play Ivy. She zaps him away and you can almost feel your opponent sigh through the internet. <laughs> it's so satisfying and I love using Ivy in battle. Hopefully I can get some good footage up here of me using her. I've used her so many times and it just brings me great pleasure to, to be able to counter Ron. She's extremely underrated. Not a lot of people uh, have used her. Some people still don't know exactly who she is or what she even does. But Ivy is by far one of the best companions in the game right now because everybody is using Ron Weasley. As more companions unlock, more strategies unfold, she will probably fall to the wayside because Ron won't be as important anymore. But that is neither here nor there because this is the here and now. So we will continue to be using Ivy in our decks and you can guarantee that Ron will be a mainstay for uh, the days and weeks to come. So keep Ivy in your deck. If you want to get rid of Ron Weasley, continue to summon those critters and absolutely dominate your opponent. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you did like it, I would really appreciate it. If you give me a thumbs up down below, as well as leaving a comment, asking me questions. I love to engage with people. Uh, just please, please ask all of the questions. There's no such thing as a dumb question <laughs> that I'll actually be on stream friday this friday uh, that will be july the 14th and before my stream around noon one o'clock uh, central time i'm going to be in my discord fielding questions so make sure that you drop by check out the links below and if you have anything or you want to talk to me personally one-on-one -on -one, there will be an opportunity for that so thanks for checking this out and i will talk to you in the next one